Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I am here to talk to you a little bit about crochet hooks. I've been sort of experimenting with crochet hooks and experimenting with ink, if you can't tell, the ink one. But um, the crochet hooks have been very interesting. It has been um, fun to experiment and see what I like and what I don't like. Now, the first, I have these in order by price. This first one, they're all J hooks, by the way. This first one is a furls hook. It was, I got a phenomenal deal. It's usually $33 and I got it for $22.44 after the discounts that I got. Um, this is a beautiful, I mean, stunning hook of all of them. It's the prettiest. It is um, also the heaviest. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these off very quickly and sort of give you a feel for this is 39 grams, um, so it's a pretty heavy hook. It's of all of them by far the heaviest, probably double the, the weight of all the others, um, and which is my issue with it, is the, the weight. And you'll see it has a sticker at the bottom, which is another little point I do not like about that. You know that sticker's coming off, but if you buy different colors for each hook, well, you just have to remember your blue one is, is the, um, J hook, for example. Oh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's almost like a sort of pink shimmer to that shimmer. It's really beautiful. There are a number of people that love, love, love their Furls Hottest Odyssey hooks. I do not join them, but I will tell you a little bit about why in a minute. This one is an Addy hook. Now, one of the reasons I tried out all of these is I just wanted to play around. Oops, my bad. I don't have any inherent hand issues. This one is 16 grams, so compared to the furl, which was 39, this one is 16. So this is an Addy. This one cost $19.31, got it on Amazon. And uh, they are a little hard to find as well, but certainly very beautiful and ergonomic. All right, the next one I have here, this is another furls hook. 19, so about the same as your Addy. Um, this is the Pisces. This is their streamlined um, line. It's a plastic, a resin, and um, I never thought I really liked plastic hooks because I had tried them in the past. Can you see that beautiful J there? It's engraved on there. It's just a stunning hook. It really is very pretty. It cost me, oh look, it matches my hand. <laughs> it cost me $14.96. I got 20% off on it. Um, there was a crocheter I watched that had a coupon that encouraged me to try it. And it's really beautiful. It is really lovely, especially for a plastic hook. It is really, really lovely and um, fits very nicely in the hand. It is also relatively light like the Addy one. Now here is the PYRM, another plastic one. Oops, <laughs> keep doing that. Okay. Sorry, let me zero it out. So this one's about 12, so it's a little lighter than the furls one. Um, I love this hook. I absolutely love this hook. You can see it's engraved on the side right there. It is, um, it has one of the issues that I don't like about plastic hooks. It does have that a sort of squeaky feel when you do it with use it with acrylic, but it's certainly very light and ergonomically designed. This one is my tried and true boyer boy, however you say that. 10 grams, so a little lighter than even the PYRM. It is um, my standard aluminum hook. I've used this for many years on many projects. Now this is a generic one. Oh, I'm so sorry, the price on this was, I got it in a set of three, so it came to about $4.70 from the set. So, much cheaper. This one is a generic hook I found. It's about 15, so about the same as the PYRM, actually a little heavier between the PYRM and the Furl um, Streamline. Um, this, is a rubber sort of thing. It was from a generic set. It came with a case, um, scissors, stitch markers, cable holders, just more, but just a bunch of stuff. So I estimate this probably cost about $2. Um, 
but I hate it. I absolutely hate it. The rubber on it just kind of rubs on me and makes almost like a little rug burn. Um, the feel of it is fantastic and it, and it flows nicely through the stitches, but um, the after effect is not pleasant. So now let me show you just a little bit with these being used. So this is your furls, the most expensive one. It is beautiful. See how, now I've tried adjusting my hold for it, so many different things, because I really, really wanted to love this hook. I've read so many people love it. People with arthritis love it. And this thing is so heavy, it just is not workable for me. I've tried adjusting my, leaving my pinky out. It has left my ring finger and pinky numb for days. Each time I try to make it work again, I'm like, oh, I, maybe this time. No, not this time. It just, it's like it's, it damages my little nerve endings on my fingers every single time I use it. Um, and I know there are many Furls fans out there, and I like my Furls Streamline. I just cannot stand the um, Odyssey. It's just way too heavy for how I hold my hook. Maybe a someone who holds theirs pencil style would love it, although I've heard a lot of people who do knife style do too. But you know, we all hold our hooks slightly different. And like I do all my turning with these two fingers. This is how I rock it to rock through the stitches. And it just left these horribly, horribly num numb. I hurt my wrist a tiny bit, but for the most part, it was really just the numbness that was debilitating really for a few days. I still crocheted, of course, I mean, because I crocheted, but I certainly didn't crochet with this hook. So it goes through the stitches all right. It, um, it flows through them nicely. This is so slick up here that it's, it's beautiful. I can't remember what, what it is, um, what that metal is on top, but it really, is, it slides through those stitches, very even stitches. If it didn't cause me such terrible pain, I would love this hook and keep it forever, but I can't, that's just horrible. Next one is the Addy. Now I like the Addy. I like the Addy a lot. Um, I have some issues with it though. One of my issues with it is that this is too short for me. Now this isn't probably for many people, but I don't like to choke up on my, my hook like that. And I'd like to be closer to here, but that hook just naturally wants me to hold my thumb right there for some reason, even though I, I suppose I could hold it down here. But the way it sits in my hand is just natural. It curves right there, right around the little, um, little fat part of my hand it um, and wants me to put my thumb right there. And so it leaves me just this teeny tiny place to work with. And if that was longer, I would absolutely buy a whole set of these. They are, it is really, really nice, a really nice hook. So let me just do a few stitches with it and show you. Now it does do a smaller, it seems almost like a, a much tighter stitch than the Odyssey and some of my others. It felt almost like a eye to me in some ways, excuse me. By the way, this yarn is the dollar store worsted yarn that I'm using. Yeah, it takes me a little while to get the hang of this one. <laughs> when I put it in my hand, it feels very awkward at first, partially because I have to, I have to choke up so much on it and that is just not my natural style to do that. In fact, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in a groove right now. It might take me too long to get in a groove. I did find that I did, and I and I really started to enjoy it a lot, but it did take me a little while to get my rhythm with it. Let's see, I can feel myself starting. But it is never going to be, unfortunately, one of my favorites just because of that top. Now, if I ever found an Addy with a, a longer top part, oh my gosh, this would be my favorite in an instant because it is truly ergonomic for my hand and the way I hold things. You can see all the pressure, very little, there's almost no pressure because of the way it's curved on my two fingers that do all of my twisting, which might be why it's a little hard for me to get used to the the hook because I have to twist it a little bit more differently, but you know what? I do like it. If I could get used to choking up so high on the, on the bat, <laughs> on the crochet hook, I could probably just uh, love these because it certainly is very comfortable. It is not going to cause me any numbness on any of those. I did a little 
um, work with it last night on my project, but I had to undo it because it's a lot tighter than the, the streamlined hook I'm about to show you, and it didn't, uh, the stitches were, were too tight. But I loved it. I really like using it in many, many ways if I can just get used to, to going so close to the yarn right there. And it might be worth me trying it out because it doesn't cause me any pain, so why not? So I like the Addy. Don't love the Addy, but I do really like it. Now the next one I'm going to show you is the Streamline Furl. Oh my goodness, this is a nice little hook. Never ever would have guessed that I would like a plastic hook. And it does do that little squeak thing, same with the PR, PYRM. And it is it does do a looser stitch for me, but it consistently does it. So, um, ugh, come on. I don't know about you, but I have a hard time adjusting to different kinds of hooks. Because um, you have to kind of adjust your grip slightly. And this one is, what do you call it? It causes a little more friction. It's a little stickier, I guess, with the yarn. So it kind of sticks to it a little bit more um, than some of the others. I have a harder time getting it through it first. Again, just like the Addy, I do adjust to it um, after a little bit. And then I start booking with it. Now, like I said, I'm using it on an actual project right now, so I really do like it. The project I'm using it with is an ice yarn. That ice yarn is super, super slippery. It's a beautiful, stunning yarn, but it's uh, very slippery, and I've had such a hard time using my, my Boye hook in it um, because it, uh, or boy, excuse me, hook in it because it, um, it just slides right through it and slides, <laughs> slides right off the yarn. But this doesn't because it is a little stickier, and so it is really nice with that um, with that slick yarn, and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's a three D three D scarf with this beautiful shiny, slippery, gorgeous silky yarn, and um, it's just coming out beautifully. And this hook really helps me to get through it without sliding off the hook. So you can tell, I mean, if you see the difference between this and the Addy, you can see how much looser it is. It really, it gives you much, much looser stitch, um, which is nice. Again, I just wouldn't want to switch the hooks out, but I love using this hook, especially with um, slippery yarns. Never ever in my life would have thought that I would like a plastic hook as much as I like this one. All right, the next one I'm gonna show you is the PYRM. Now this one also does a looser stitch. Um, not as tight as, for example, the Addy, but I really do like this hook. I'm not sure I'm really going to like it with acrylic yarns. Ugh, this one has a big knot in it. Don't you hate that? But for Dollar Tree yarn, hello, Yes, I got so many colors. I'm gonna make myself a little cat stitch item soon with it. I have everything set up and I started it even. Now, you can't hear it, but this does a little squeak. A little beep, beep, every time I go through. The, the, it's not as strong as the furls, but it's still there. It's not, not quite nails on a chalkboard, but nails on a chalkboard a, block, a half a block away. <laughs> you know, just like a little bit of a, hey, that's not supposed to be a sound I hear. Um, but it really doesn't bother me. Not too much, but it might bother you if you're really sensitive to sort of squeaking, feeling kind of sounds. You can tell it's going, it has some friction going through that acrylic yarn. I suspect this one would also be excellent with that slippery yarn. Although it is not nearly as sticky as the furls, it really, I don't know if you can tell, but it just flows through. It feels natural. I put it in my hand and I am ready to go. It goes ni nicely through. My stitch um, tension seems very, pretty much the same all the way through. And I can crochet on this hook all day long. I think this is going to be one of my favorite hooks, really. This this is the PYRM. I've heard other people say that they love it, and I'm with them. I really I really like it a lot. 
with the price, not, not too shabby. Now, here's my old tried and true. I do just love my tried and true aluminum hooks. You know, it's I've been using it forever. The only reason, and they don't cause me any issues. The only reason I stopped and I wanted to try out new things is because I've read so much about you know, consistent tension and that kind of thing. And I do have um, in this thumb some um, arthritis and I do use like a special um, mouse to keep away, um, oh gosh, I, get, I used to get numbness through my thumb and I don't anymore now that I use a special mouse that you hold sideways instead of like this. So I was putting too much pressure on my palm here. So I guess I do have some issues. I don't have them because I have adjusted to a sort of sideways mouse that you roll this way. Um, but still, that furrow's causing that numbness on these two fingers. I mean, I, my fingertips are still a little numb from using that thing. Um, I still don't think that's normal. I don't, I don't think that's just me having bad hands, frankly. Maybe I'm wrong. But here we go, this is my, my baby. I have created many a project with this hook. But you know, going from that PYRM to this, I think I might like the PYRM more. Don't tell this hook, because we've been through a lot. But I don't know. After using just that one and this one, I thought I liked this one better before I did this, but after using them back to back, I really like that PRM more. It just flows a little more nicely. I don't have to work as hard, I guess is what I'd have to say, is I have to work with this one. That This one, it just slides through. I don't really have to do as much of the work. Very strange, I would not have guessed. Um, even when I began this video, I was going to say that these two are my favorites, but gosh, I think I might just have to say that one is, is my favorite. Okay, and the last one is my little cheap one. And I tell you, I have heard other people review and say that they don't like the rubber and they like a more of a, more of a plastic than, a, than a, the squishy rubber. And I can, I can understand why. I wish I'd have read those reviews before I bought this, but fortunately it was cheap, cheap and the gosh, I love the case. It came in so much and it's perfectly serviceable. I have used it on a couple of projects, mainly because I couldn't find another J hook. So I was like, well, I guess I'll use this one. Even though it gives me, you can see, this is how I hook, hold my hook. I have it there and these two fingers do the rolling and they do take a lot of the pressure. I hold my hook with this, this, and this here. Um, and I get, when I, if I use this for any amount of time, I get something I'd call a rug burn almost. Up against here, it really rubs this area right there and right here, kind of raw. I mean, it's not super bad. It's not like the furls where days later I'm still feeling the pain and, and discomfort, but it does for at least a day or so um, cause me discomfort. So not my favorite hook. It's just my emergency hook. I, I don't have anything else and I really want to work on this project hook, but um, certainly nothing I would ever, and I'll, you can tell it's, it goes through all the stitches fine. If it didn't cause me pain, um, I wouldn't mind this hook at all. It's fine. And you can see the tip of it is a little bit longer. That's why I'm saying if the tip of this one was just that length, I would love this hook. I, this would be my favorite hook ever, but um, it just needs to be a little bit longer. Um, but this one just flows nicely. Works perfectly for me. I just, if only it didn't rub me raw. That's all. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop with this one. See, I don't mind using it as long as I can stop before the pain begins. All right, so that's that. Those are the six hooks, the six beautiful hooks. And let's see, I already did them by order of, from the, um, Favor, or from the price down. Now let's go for my favorite down. Let's go definitely that PYRM. Oh, I do love this one, but I'm gonna say something about this one. For slippery yarns, I will never use anything other than one of these hooks. This hook is perfect. And I use a lot of sort of slippery, silky yarns. So these two depends on the yarn, really. This is my go-to for all kinds of yarn, but you know what? If I have any kind of slippery yarn, I am definitely using that furls. The next one, I love the grip of this. I just cannot stand how short that is, but I do love the grip. 
gosh. And these two, I just would never ever use voluntarily. <laughs> you know what I mean? This one I wouldn't use except in emergency. This one I would never use, period, because it obviously causes damage to my hands. So not gonna do something that causes damage. So I'm gonna take those off and um, give these three as the three hooks that I will keep and use depending on the yarn and depending on the project regularly. Um, this one, still gonna search around. You never know, I might actually find one of those with the longer, longer tip. Okay, thank you so much. I hope that helps you. Um, and don't think that this is a horrible hook just because I said it was. You're gonna read, in fact, many people would be angry about me even saying it's a horrible hook, but it's horrible for me. If it causes me pain and damage, well, then it's horrible for me. Okay, thank you guys so much and crochet on, enjoy.